Back the St. Joseph Figure Skating Club will bring us a tale as old as time mm -hmm. to the ice this weekend. Production of Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Clarinda Barons to join us this morning. Tell us about it. Uh, so it's a production, as you said, Beauty and the Beast, but it's pretty much like a production. It's a musical production. So we have the sets, we have the lights, we have the skating, all the skating, and all the talent. So. And how long has this been in the works? Um, we started rehearsals a little later this year, but kind of like in March, and we've been working every weekend and every week since, and they put a lot of hard work into it, and I think it's going to pay off. All right. And how we were talking a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. wide, wide age range. Tell us about that. Yes. So our youngest ranges from about, I guess, five to six-ish, and then we have an adult skater as well who's roughly around 50. So, yeah, huge age range, a lot of talent, um, and everybody's loving what they're doing. And how many people are going to be there? Total? Um, roughly about, I'd say probably about 50 to 60, including some of our skaters from our Learn to Skate classes that we offer throughout okay. the year, as well as Griffin Glider skating teams. Yeah, so the Griffin Gliders are getting involved. What kind of role are they playing? Um, so they're kind of doing an exhibition form of their competition programs from this season. Um, and so, yeah, it's a synchronized skating team. You have 10 to 12 skaters on the ice at the same time, depending on your team. And yeah, they get to showcase one more time before the season closes. All right, and full costumes? Yes, full costumes. Costumes, full music, spotlights. Yeah, they're going to be acting. There's dialogue. All right. How can people get involved uh, to view it? To view it, um, come on down. Um, there is no live stream of it, so you have to show up in person. But you can purchase tickets pre-sale, or you can purchase them at the door, or visit our Facebook page. You can find information there. All right. And what are you most excited for? Uh, I'm most excited, I guess, to see it all come together and to hear the audience laugh. It's there's some you know highlights and humor to it as well as you know, the classic love story and the dramatic portion of it too. So I'm excited to see the range of emotions. Yeah. And as the director, how long have you been directing for? Um, I've been helping in a more of a major role the last four years and then kind of, you know, in the back, you know, previous years before that. But yeah, I'm excited as the lead director this year. And how have you used your past experience for this presentation? Um, a lot of organization. There's so many skaters as we just talked about, you know, music, sets, all that. So just trying to organize it all and it's helped to have, you know, Debbie Cole assisting me and stuff like that too. So, so yeah, organization and just keep checklist. <laughs> <laughs> and let's talk about some of the skaters. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure they have had to be doing this for a long, long time, mm -hmm. whether it was just skating or acting, mm -hmm. combining the two. What is that process like? Um, it's definitely taken a lot of skaters out of their comfort zone to add in that acting skill. Usually we're used to being on the ice alone as an individual sport except for synchronized teams, but um, they've really excelled at it and it's fun to see them come out of their shell and interact with other people too. And it's also bittersweet because we have a lot of seniors in our production this year of about five, okay. so it'll be kind of their last hurrah. All right. Well, mm -hmm. do you have anything final that you want to say to people out there? Um, just come on down. You never know. Maybe you could be in it next. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us you. this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it.